welcome back everyone to another episode of Morocco! And as you can see, the as you can see guys, we are now in the uh, new DLC, Conquest of Paradise, and... Well, honestly, this really will not be affecting us because we've already, like, discovered the new world and we've already done a couple things. But what I should will affect us from this new DLC is that we have a new little cool screen of subjects where we can actually check how much income our subjects actually make for us. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome, but... Anyways, as, as anyone will tell you, we are now a westernized nation. We have officially joined the rest of the world as a... Well... It still says we're backwards, but we are going to rectify that, I believe, pretty quickly. Because now, since we are officially, you know, westernized, it just basically means that we can now go toe-to-toe -to -toe with all these bigger nations. Which is what I like. You know, I like being the fact that we can now go and fight these nations and actually be able to fight them back and do all this crazy, you know, I don't know, morocco and stuff, but... Anyways, we are going to continue our original quest of trying to conquest all of Africa. Africa. So, let us um, continue by fabricating claims, and I actually can't do that because I just remembered I have a Regency Council. Shoot. Yeah, it's been a couple days for me, guys, so it's just kind of getting back into the groove of everything. So, yeah, we are annexing, Diplo annexing these guys. Okay, I think I got where we are. Oh, Conquer Kale! Yes! We got five prestige! My Sultan, Crimea has entered into a treaty of support for independence with our disloyal subject, Crimea. Really? So, Crimea is gonna think that it can support our independence of the Ottomans. I think you should be more worried about your own livelihood, Crimea, because you have basically the big gigantic Russian Empire on your shoulders breathing over you. And I don't think they're gonna be kind. I don't think they're gonna be kind. Anyways, let's check up on our national decisions and what do we have? Remove the Mali from the mop. Can't do it right now, so that'd be useless. Get an overextension less and create a proper fleet. You know, let's create a proper fleet because you know what? I did say in this campaign I would try. Holy shoot. <laughs> oh gosh, this is gonna be a. Okay, I did not look at that. So. This might take a little bit of building, so let's start this. So, we're going to start with building 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, I'm going to build lots of trade ships because we need it. I think we're going to actually start dealing with our trade nodes in our places. 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3. That should be enough to make a good amount of trade fleets. Then I'm also going to make an early Karak division. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Alright, so yeah, now that we have, like, westernized and done all the cool stuff of westernizing, we have discovered an agent! And there was a native uprising! Well, too bad for them. Molly! Has entered the coalition against. Really, Molly? Oh, I should probably lower the the uh, speed too before my game crashes. My king. Oh my goodness, really? Uh, it's trust me, guys. The the Ottomans do not want to gain out of their personal union with us. They like us. We have been buddy buddies for a very long time, and I think they will be very happy once they join my empire and become the uh, biggest gain to the. Uh, the I think I can't come up with anything clever right now. It's weird. I'll think of it. I'll think of something clever to say. But right now, let's just continue with our colonizational efforts, since I guess that's the only thing we can do right now. Is we're just gonna be able to colonize around the world and prestige loss or lose ducats. You know what? Lose ducats. I honestly don't have that much ducats. Uh, we are coring a lot of the places that we conquered. It's just gonna take a little bit before they're ready to be. Uh. I would guess Morocco we in fight. <sighs> I really gotta come up with cooler names for some of these things. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. So our ships are starting to be built, which is good. Slaves! Ah, God. ah. You know, I really wish we would not have slaves in our country. Because it really does bring almost a tear to my eye every time I see that event. Okay, and you are a bog still, so you guys go down here. 
And we do have a kind of taking nutrition army, which I don't like. Let's see. Supply limit. There it is. Supply limit. Let's see. Where would support this army supplies? Let's see. It says right here, but I doubt that. Let's try on the coast of the Ivory Coast. I think the Ivory Coast might be able to handle this. Oh my goodness. There are so many there's just so many things you have to now do now that you're westernized. You now have to like start competing with the great powers. I mean, we are now it's so weird to think of that Morocco is now officially competing with the great powers for control over everything. Speaking of which, I am gonna think about taking back my little place over here of that the Castilians took so very long ago because, well, I'm now powerful enough to fight them, which is what we wanted, and which is very good. And we're just combining all of our trade fleets into one gigantic trade empire fleet that we're probably going to use to uh, gain a couple trade places back. Like, when I was, like, trade-wise, we are getting no trade from this node right here because, what, Great Britain is now taking control? Okay, this, no, 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 you don't get to do that, Great Britain, but on a side note, we're going to, like I said, we're going to start doing some transfer trade, let's do some transfer trade up there, and let's transfer trade up here, because so we're going to try to, you know, force, uh, we're going to try to force trade more into our trade node to gain us a little bit more value, because this 4.0 ducat's going up here, and then 2.0 ducat's going up there, this should be able to force a good amount of trade to us, which would be insanely nice. And, uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what that was about, but apparently there was like a little glitch there. And we got 28 trade ships. Should we use that to try to gain back this node right here? Because what I'm going to try to do is gain back this node. This is, just, this is just ridiculous. We're losing so much trade power from here just because there's all these other people messing with us. And I don't like that. So you know what, let's start, I'm just going to see if this is even going to make a difference. We're going to protect our Manchurian trade node. Manchurian, yeah, you see, the British should not be the main controllers of that trade node. That's my trade node. Let's see, do we gain a, mm, oh, there we go. <laughs> Take that. Take that, Britain. Now we gain most of the trade, even though it's mostly not retained value. We still gain most of the trade, which is why I like. Um, And it seems like... It seems like the AI realized how I want to funnel this. So we are getting a slight bit more income. A little bit more people are starting to get into there. And excellent, our colony is self-sustaining. So that means now it's time to go colonize more down here. As we slowly make our way around Cape, the Cape Coast, we're slowly colonizing more and more, which is what I love. All this colonizing is great, and this is our second trade fleet, I guess. Let's keep building trade fleets. I think it also gave me a major income boost, didn't it? Yeah, it gave me a good income boost. At the very least, it gave me a good income boost. Let's see, are you Bark? No, you're an early care So right there is the division line. Let's go send these guys down. And then this is my... This is going to be soon my uh, destroyer fleet. I'll use this mostly to fight the Europeans when they get all uppity about me doing stuff. Because I know they will. The Europeans are usually like that. So... Let's see, we gain all these guys into one unit, and let's see, where else are we kind of suffering from European exposure? Well, I could probably gain a little bit more from this trade node. This trade node, I almost own everything, so I don't think I need to worry about that. Um, It's still just this trade node right here. I need to be a little bit more controlling of that trade node to gain it, but... Are they trying to take hold my capital trade node? Because this is... They're trying to force out my trade node. This is not... No. Let's see. This is my capital trade node? Yeah, no. Yeah, they're trying They're trying to take over my capital trade node. That's not going to happen. This is my node. I've been sailing here for years on years on years. Wait, it's not Seville. It's, um... Safi. Safi. I mean, I still own most of the majority of it, but... I should own all of it. It's my node. So let's see, let's go to the Sapphire Trade Note. Stop fighting those dang Europeans. Gain back the money that we deserve. Okay, we only gained 41%, so we're probably going to have to build more trade ships. Which I am perfectly fine with. <laughs> Bring on the trading empire. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so that's as far as we need to go. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3. Two, three, two, three, two, three. 
wait, two, three, 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 two, three, oh wait, not four, delete one, two, three, and two, three. There we go. All right. We're going to regain, like, yes, now we're getting like 2.5 income due to all the force of trading I'm doing. That's good. That's good right there. But we need to gain, we need to make sure that we have the complete and other dominance in this trade mode. Like, there is no doubt in the Europeans' mind that, like, yeah, maybe we shouldn't mess with these guys. These guys look like they really do do a lot of stuff. And it looks like these guys have almost completely, I don't know how Castile and Portugal have completely dominated this trade note. Like, I have, like, no shares in this trade note, which is fine by me. I don't really, to be honest, I don't really care about that trade note, if I must be really honest. It's like that lost trade note I don't really care about. But let's start upgrading our military even more. Uh, we have some reform stuff, so this is basically, do I want a balance, do I want a defensive, or do I want an attack? Knowing me and how much I attack, I'm more of this, but let me just make sure my shock. How much is my shock? 9.6. Yeah, let's get the reformed. The cleaver share, let's get the Reitzer. And do I want the Petrello, or do I want the, uh, Colvin? Um, more defense. I usually like more defense with my, uh, my artillery, and then I like more attack with my infantry. It's just how I roll. So, we are, yeah, we're just, basically this episode, guys, is mostly just trying to readapt to, like, the new, let's see, do I want this? Uh, we might get closer to our diplomatic relations, which would be really nice. Yes, we got diplomatic relations and yearly, and yearly tradition, which means our navy should, we are actually gaining navy tradition. That is so weird. Like, that usually never happens in any of my Let's Plays. Okay, and then the Kalaboom want an alliance. Are you my vassal? No, you are not my vassal. So, do I have a diplomatic relationship slot for you? Probably not. I do! Never mind! Okay, yeah, you get to be my new vassal. Because I love Diplo annexing all you guys. And you are a Sunni, so that means I don't have to do very much to get you guys to like us. Yeah, this looks, yeah, this looks very promising. And you would not accept vassal to shoot. Uh, never mind. No, uh, we're, we're not gonna accept any royal marriages from you because it's too ne technologically advanced. Really? I'm too technologically advanced for you. <sighs> well, that's kind of like a weird way of putting, like, stuff. I, I don't know. I've never seen that before. Like, you're too technologically advanced to be diplo annexed by these people. Wow. I should take that as a compliment? I, I don't know, I don't, would you, I don't know guys, would you take that as a compliment or would you take that as a insult? Hostile core, oh, and I can't wait for this. When we get that non-hostile core creation cost, that's going to give us such an, an advantage. We've already had exploration ideas, quantity ideas. I think what I might get next is administrative ideas. Mostly because um, administrative ideas will give us a lot of core creation cost difference and a lot of available mercenaries. So that if things do go to, uh badly for us we do have a uh, an extra way of getting out of this plus my sultan the brigadier strike again we get game piety are we doing the game piety right now we're we doing the lose piety right now uh we could game piety i mean it wouldn't really be that bad no we have to catch up to the rest of the europeans so lose piety and oh no a colony has been damaged i don't think they want anything because i made sure my my fleets were very powerful so let's get all of our trading empire ships right here. Get them all right there. Get them all right there. And just keep sending them down. Just keep sending them down. Dude, yeah, Gabo's gonna be like my main place to like make everything. It's the main meeting place up for all my ships, lines, and various other node wells. Yep, Morocco, my good friends, the Ottomans are now 100% relationship locked. And they look pretty happy. Like, I don't know why anyone would want to break away from me. Because they are really, you know, we're, we're honestly good friends. I mean, it really does not look like it most of the time, but we are honestly good friends with these guys. We honestly do. The Ottomans love us, we love them, and they would be happy to join my empire. It's not like I'm forcing them to join. And it looks like one of these stupid little states decided to rebel against me. Whoop dee doo. You guys are so powerful. I'm such afraid of you. Um, do we have like two armies? No, it seems like I had to combine a couple of my armies to deal with stuff, so let's do this, gain our next trade fleet, and let's see, are you a trade fleet? No, you aren't, so 
Let's see, how are we doing in trading? The trading in this place has gotten even better, but we need to make sure it's even the best. Uh, yeah, I guess we have to wait a couple minutes. Why can we not protect? We must have light chips to protect trade. Oh. These are all galleys, aren't they? I created an army of galleys. Well, this is gonna be my Mediterranean fleet! Gosh dang! Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be my Mediterranean fleet. Cause actually, no, that's actually, that's actually a good thing because we, most of the time, most of the time when you're in the Mediterranean, you do actually need a, um, galley ship-wise. Cause the galleys are much more effective in, in these kind of situations than, than other ships. Let me just also get these guys. Yeah, you see, I, I knew that was gonna happen. They weren't exactly this. Plus, if I do get my light, if I do get some of my Kyrex or heavy ships in there too, I do believe this is probably gonna be a pretty badass fleet. Like, there is no one gonna be able to take on this fleet. <laughs> and with our navy tradition being as high high as it is, I do believe we're not going to like lose anything. I mean, we're gaining militaristic tradition pretty quickly. I lose. Ooh, this is like. Ooh. Yeah, let's quarantine the region. I don't like the idea that the influencer might spread. Um, we also have another idea to get more technology. Let's keep getting that. Build spy houses and courting houses. That's very good. So, let's see. Is there anything we can build unique-wise? Not really. Um, farm estates. I don't really like farm estates, so we're not going to do that. Uh, walls, though. This is something I do like to do because it, because it gives us a good amount of chance to reconquer back all of our land just in case it gets unconquered. Also, armories. <laughs> the two biggest things I like to build in this game are right there. I can't really build them. Docks. Do we have any docks we can build? We can build one right there. And uh, what else can we build? Local constable. 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 Should we stop building more constables? Eh, we could. We could just start. And apparently we are out of diplo tech. Or I mean admin tech. So I guess we can't build any more of that. That kind of stinks. And let's combine all of our ships to make this big gigantic death stack or death stack of a ship army in fact we could probably um combine it with that other 10 this stack right here this little 10 this little 10 barge ship right here combine all these together to make this big awesome navy fleet that's just utterly insanely powerful and we have a perfectly balanced army right here so yeah right there 47 ships this is all going to protect the trade of Safai, which we did gain. We did lose a little bit, but we should actually gain a lot in a couple seconds because we just have 47 ships going to go and protect the trade there. Which means that we're going to stop these stupid like Castilians and these Europeans from messing with us. So I don't usually like. I don't usually like the Europeans messing with me. It doesn't provide me with good warm feelings inside. Over here, though, it seems like we're losing a lot of the trade just due to... How is... Wait, what? What? How is Aragon gaining the most trade out of this region? It doesn't... Uh, sometimes this game does not make any sense when it turns as trade steering. So let's just keep moving down as our colonies slowly start to be built. And we just conquest all of the coast. We, like, basically the Europeans gotta realize at this point that I am the African nation that they should probably contend with. I am not kind to the U and since the Europeans have not been kind to me, I will never be kind to them. I'm always gonna remember the Europeans as being those jerks that tried to take me over. Okay, and then you guys are the jerks that are just trying to revolt against me, which is honestly not smart. Because I am more powerful than you, to be frank. And did we gain back majority control over this? Yes, we did. That is good. We got 2.4 ducats coming in from this trade note again. Invest in bigger military. Let me guess. This is like two point base tax. Yeah, get base tax. Base tax is usually the better option. Because base tax in the long run helps you out so much better. And then. Ooh. Please tell me we're still gaining. Oh, no, we aren't. Hmm. I didn't realize that. Well, let's see. Would it help if we, like, boost stability up a little bit? No, we cannot boost ability up, so I guess we can't do that either. Then let's just try to, since we're, we're trying to convert, let's just try to ignore it <laughs> and just hope it goes away eventually. Okay, that's that's my solution for this, and let's start building up more, more ships. 
because I did say I'd build a, a navy, and that's what I'm planning on doing. Two, three, four. Oh, no. Okay. So we all know what happens now, guys. Well, thank you guys for watching. This has been a good little relaxing episode. You know, just kind of building up ships, building up a new army, navy, tradition, whatever you want to call it. And I had fun. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.